Elena's Experiments is brought to you by Hillcrest Air Conditioning and Sheet Metal, serving you since 1950. You're so much fun, Kevin. Okay, so Elena's Experiments is something we do every Monday, bringing in local educators and STEM enthusiasts to share some experiments and demonstrations you can do at home with your kids with things you have just laying around. And many of you may be working on science fair projects already. Joining us in studio today, we have Harja Solbrar, one of our reigning champions for the Kern County Science Fair, who has also gone on to compete at the state level and the international level. So welcome back in. It's nice to see you again. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Oh, it's so fun. So now that you've wrapped up ISIF back in May, that was the International Fair, what have you been doing for the summer? Yeah, so I've been doing a lot of research. So I've been working on a project that's like an exoskeleton uh, that'll help patients recover uh, after long periods of bed rest after surgery. And I've also been doing some research with uh, trying to like decode uh, dreams essentially Ooh. using some machine learning, which is really fun. That's absolutely fascinating. And this is so different from the project you just did in the spring yeah. that was that 3D bandaging and yeah. helping heal faster and, and more, um, not holistically, but more naturally almost. Exactly. Yeah. As well as, you know, decreasing, you know, the amount of pain and risk of infection. So that was, so it's all kind of different projects, but they all kind of center around that same area, which I just really enjoy. And just amazing, because you're a Stockdale High School student. Yes. You are still in school. Are you competing again this spring? Yes, I'm looking to compete this spring with one of those two projects, just whichever, you know, I prefer at that time. But uh, yeah, I'm looking to compete and, you know, finish off my last year strong. Oh, just amazing. I adore that you have multiple projects in the hopper. What about those kids and their parents who are kind of looking at these, these forms and going, what are we going to do? How do you start with your science fair project? Yeah, so I think actually picking the problem that you want to seek out to solve is one of the hardest parts. For me, it definitely is. I think the best way to go about it uh, is to kind of go through three main approaches. So first, try to look out in like the Bakersfield community, in your school, even in your home, for kind of problems that you see that can be solved with science, which is a whole host of problems. And if you can't find anything there, then you know do some research, look online. And one of the best approaches that I've personally found really helpful uh, is you know talking to professionals, talking to scientists, but talking to all sorts of people all around the community because everyone has a lot of great ideas and you can use them to explore. So for me personally, I've spoken to a lot of doctors and they've kind of inspired me regarding what I should do for my projects, which has given me the majority of my ideas. And just amazing, you've been competing in biomedical engineering. So as you have that project idea now, what are the next steps you would recommend for students in moving forward to make it the big board we see at the science fair? Yeah, so I think right after you come up with your idea, I think the best thing to do is to look at what people have already done already. Okay. Science is amazing because you get to build off of what people have done already. So you kind of like are building up this tower, which will eventually lead to your project. So do a lot of research, see what people have already done. Try to see how you can improve upon those things that people have done in the past. And sometimes you need a totally new uh, solution to a problem, which is where all the fun of science is, for me at least. The science is so fun. You're absolutely right. So thank yeah. you for stopping by. I love those tips. And keep us posted as you compete this year. We hope to see you go just as far, if not farther, again. Thank you so much. Yeah. We'll be right back with more local news.